Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? Right, Saints have been on the practice field the past few days for uh, for OTAs. Uh, Dennis Allen met with the media after practice there uh, at OTAs to update uh, a lot of things that have been happening with the organization here in the offseason, and certainly the first opportunity to see a lot of these players for the first time this offseason, and the first time we've seen Jameis Winston doing on-field work for the New Orleans Saints since his injury. Now, we've seen a lot of training videos of Jameis rehabbing, but this was the first time we saw him in uniform at the Saints facility going through drills. Now, I, I say, let me let me clarify. I said, you know, this is just helmet, jersey, shorts. This is not a padded practice or anything. But he's out there with his teammates going through practice. Here was Dennis Allen uh, updating Jameis Winston's progress. Yeah, look, I think he's looked good. I think he's made a lot of progress. You know, we still got a ways to go to get him to get him ready. But uh, we like the progress he's making. We like where he's at. And, and uh um, hopefully that'll continue. Uh, where's, uh, where's Mike Thomas in, in his rehab? The second part of that was a question about Mike Thomas and where he is in his rehab. Uh, we'll come back to that, Muse, if we could, because uh, I want to stay on Jameis for just a quick second. Um, Dennis Allen was asked point blank if Jameis would be a full go for the start of training camp. Here's what uh, Dennis Allen had to say. That's certainly our plan. Um, you know, if I had a crystal ball and could tell you all these things, I'd, you know, I'd probably may be making a lot more money and doing something different but uh but yeah I mean our hope is that he's going to be ready to go for training camp so that's what we're pushing for pushing for him to be a go for training camp I, I mean I'll remind you and again we're going to talk specifically about quarterbacks because that's a position James plays but and Drew Brees was the quarterback for a long time but when Drew Brees first signed with the Saints back in 2006 of course he had the shoulder injury and they weren't sure if he was even going to be ready for the start of the regular season. So he was very limited in camp and in the preseason as well. So Jameis being limited is not a big deal. Like, just get him ready to roll. The other thing I'll remind you is, you know, Joe Burrow suffered a more severe injury than did Jameis at about the same point in the season, a year apart, obviously, and Burrow was there for the start of the season. Now, Burrow, even by his own admission, was not didn't feel like a full go. Like he was fully himself until after their bye, midway point of the season, but was there at the start of the season. Jameis's injury was, was Halloween. So if you're talking about a nine-month recovery, he should be ready to roll, if not for camp, certainly by the start of the season. Um, one more from Allen was asking you know, if he was surprised at how much Jameis is doing at this point. Look, with with the way that he works and how hard he works, it doesn't surprise me. You know, um, I think we got to continue to be smart with that, uh, which I think we are. And, uh, uh, you know, we're going to continue to push to get him better, but yet try to be smart about it. So Jameis Winston was out there. Michael Thomas was not. This was what um, you heard sort of the beginning of that question to Dennis Allen about Michael Thomas's recovery. Uh, I think he's doing well in his rehab. He's not ready yet, um, but he's here. He's rehabbing. He's getting himself better, and, and uh, we're certainly anxious to get him out here. The most important part of that is that he's there. The fact that they went through this saga where a lot of people opined that maybe Michael Thomas's time in New Orleans was done because there was just a lot of angst built up between the two sides, uh, the fact that he's there tells you, man, that hatchet is buried. It is water under the bridge, and it is all about getting healthy and ready to roll again to revert to the form where we last saw him fully healthy in 2019. He set the NFL record for reception in a season. And you pair a healthy Michael Thomas with a veteran like Jarvis Landry, and then you throw a, a rookie and Chris Olave on top. We've talked about it so much. That's a giant reason for optimism with this team moving forward. So it is all about just getting Michael Thomas healthy for um, for the start of, uh, if not training camp, the start of the season. I'd say the same thing about James. Would you love the opportunity to have him there to work together and get timing and things that a lot of young guys do? Yes. If it's not the reality, okay, figure it out as you go. Um, but Dennis Allen was asked if the Mike Thomas injury, even post-surgery, was worse than they even thought. That's hard for me to for me to say. You know, part of it, I, I wasn't totally involved in all those uh, evaluations early on. So, to be quite honest with you, 
I don't really know where it was from the beginning. I know where he's at right now. Uh, and I know that he's working his tail off to get, get himself back. And, and uh, we feel good about where he's at right now. Certainly sounds like a guy who is on board with defending his player and getting him back on the field and having a big a big time impact. Um, another guy we didn't get to see a ton a year ago was first round draft pick Peyton Turner, and that's I think a massively understated story because the Saints are in effect getting a healthy Peyton Turner, getting a a first a, an additional first round pick. It's almost like having three first round picks because. You didn't get anything out of Peyton Turner last year um, because he he battled the injury coming out as a rookie coming out of the University of Houston. He was just injured in camp and then injured in the season. So the Saints with potentially a healthy Peyton Turner makes that even more uh, valuable on the interior of that defensive line. Here was Dennis Allen updating Peyton Turner's rehab. Well, look, he's rehabbing right now. Um, and so I, it'd be unfair for me to tell you exactly where he's at right now because I, I – I don't know the answer to that. Um, I do think that there were some things that I saw uh, in the little bit that he was able to play. Um, I saw some some glimpses of, 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 of a good football player. Um, and I've seen some growth and maturity in terms of just being a pro uh, throughout this offseason. So, uh, you know, my hope is that that he is fully recovered, which we, we expect him to be, and that, that – uh, he comes out and does some good things for us this year. Want to remind you, Peyton Turner played in five games. He missed 12 games in his rookie season. So you had five games and 12 total tackles out of your first round draft pick last year. So you get Peyton Turner back, whether he's playing end or they kick him inside as a more versatile piece, whatever it is, whatever you get out of Peyton Turner, if it's more than five games, is a giant plus if he's able to live up to any of that potential. Um, one more from Dennis Allen. And he did talk a lot about Tyron Matthew. Um, which was so good to see Tyron running out there in the 32. And as a veteran player, Tyron Matthew didn't need to be out there, but he said he wanted to be out there to get a feel for his new teammates and how things were going to go and starting to, to establish himself as a leader. Um, there were a bunch of players who were not at OTAs, a bunch of very recognizable names who were not at OTAs. Um, and here was, I'll come back and talk about it in a second, but here was Dennis Allen, it's number four, but he's talking about the guys who are not at OTAs. I've had communication with everybody on our team, and so I'm well aware of who is and isn't here. Uh, we've had that communication. Um, you know, certainly it's a, it's a voluntary program. Um, and look, would I like everybody to be here? Yeah, I'd like everybody to be here. Um, but, but everybody has their reason why, and I'm comfortable with where we're at. Everybody has their reason why, and I'm comfortable with where they're at. Sometimes it might be uh, community events, charitable events, you're working out with your own trainer, whatever it may be. Uh, and the list is long. And it's it's a lot of names that you know. Taysom Hill, Deontay, and this is courtesy of Luke Johnson on Twitter. Taysom Hill, Deontay Hardy, Michael Thomas, Mark Ingram, Bradley Roby, C.J. Gardner-Johnson, Marshawn Lattimore, P.J. Williams, Alvin Kamara, Demario Davis, Landon Young, James Hurst, Andrus Pete, Jarvis Landry, Marcus Davenport, Peyton Turner. That's 16 players, at least that Luke Johnson recognized, that were not at OTAs. Again, it's a voluntary portion. And I mentioned, you know, uh, Michael Thomas. Michael Thomas is at, in New Orleans at the facility. He just wasn't practicing. So you got 16 guys there that are going to be key contributors that weren't there for OTAs. I'm not ready to say that that's this massive statement or condemnation on Dennis Allen. If he talked to every member of the team and they had valid reasons for not being at OTAs, I'm okay with it. As long as it's it's the old accountability thing that Sean Payton would talk about all the time. You show up, it's like when they had the bye week. Go do your own thing. Just get out of here. But if you show up and you're a professional and you're in shape and you're ready to roll for the start of training camp, you're okay with it. Now, if next year it rolls around, season doesn't go well, and next year you roll around and you don't have these guys there at OTAs, maybe you revisit that conversation. But it's voluntary for a reason. And the guys who were there got the reps, and that's a good thing to see. Uh, just the next piece here in the Saints offseason program as they move through this, uh, you know, all, this really transformative um, and formative offseason where for the first time in, in 16 years, you don't have Sean Payton at the helm. And so you're moving through this new offseason with Dennis Allen, what it's going to look like. So the next um, OTA will be so the 
they'll have OTAs May 31st through June 2nd. So they'll have a few days off their back. Then they're back for OTAs again June 7th through 10th. So the three OTA dates. dates. Then the mandatory mini camp, that's the first mandatory date, is June 14th to 16th. So they're ramping up, doing some on-field work, but it's not until June 14th that we should see everybody, again, mandatory uh, there as part of um, uh, the off-season work. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.